Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and you might be wondering what I'm doing. Well, <laughs> some of you probably aren't. Apparently, I don't know how, I missed a shrine on this island. Now, I might have misinterpreted the comment, but there's a timestamp that shows me leaving this island. Uh, so I think... I think I missed a shrine, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, this... There was so much fanfare around Lightcast Island that I would think that there'd be a shrine here. Very weird, uh... Next string there. Okay, so it's not over... It's not on the surface. Is it down here somewhere? No. No, there's... There are no bombable walls. That's not it. Unless... Perhaps... Maybe now that these sta- the, uh, the thing, the- That's what it is. That's what it is! It's here! It's here! That's what the stairs are for! Okay, I feel a little bit less bad, I think? Kind of? I should have deduced that there was an additional meaning to that dropping besides, uh, the walls dropping besides just easy access to- you know, leaving the cave. Okay, uh, the, the, the Shkahafka to Skoba Shrine. Raru's Blessing. Ga, Gaha, Gaha, he's, uh, Gahafada, Jehoshaphat, Gahuba, Luba Shrine is ours. Thank you, commenter! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, this guy has rocket arrows? Why have I never tried that? I got it. I got it now. Ah, oh, it doesn't reflect it back? Come on! I did not know these guys fired rocket arrows. That's sweet. What does this do? What? Why did it start to work? What is it doing? Hold on. Wait, what? What is it doing when I swing it? What? I had to end last session abruptly due to a, um, an emergency, I guess. A, f a friend of mine was going through a, some really, really rough stuff, both health-wise health and mentally. Um, and so I, I ended the last session in the loading screen, uh, leaving the shrine. So, I haven't, I haven't been in Rito, Vil Rito Village yet. Like, I haven't done anything. Um, I haven't cut out anything. So, truthfully, this is my first experience here, and... It was only due to the comments pointing out some of the stuff I had missed that that drew me uh, back back to the sky. So I'm really excited to I'm really excited to see what is that? What's going on there? People trying to keep warm. It, it seems as though winter has has come to Rito Rito Village. Whether or not that's oh, I'm not used to normal gravity. Whether that's because of. Uh, Unnatural circumstances or not, we're going. We're about to find out. I'm also excited to hear the. I'm kind of pausing for a moment just to hear the Rito Domain or Rito Village theme in in snow form. And this is also going to be really exciting because not only do we have eight spirit orbs thanks to the comments, uh, but we have four sages blessings, which I have no idea what that means. Let's get the boring ones out of the way. Oh. I guess I can't. You know what? We're gonna fight. <laughs> Never mind. The game. The game decided otherwise. What does this do? I am going to upgrade Riju. She is the first person, first spirit that we found. Presumably there are more. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna stick with her. We're gonna be a little bit loyal here. Make Riju bond with Riju stronger. She's. I have some thoughts on Riju that I want to wait to say until I get uh, get some of the other other spirits 
Avatar's attack power. That's neat. Okay. Just a, a flat damage buff. I won't complain about that. And then, here's the big decision. I have been dying a lot. It feels like I cannot go a single encounter without dying once and then acing it from there. And that might motivate me to get health. However, however, I think I'm going to go stamina. Yes, I've expressed frustration with, with my performance, but I also think that I'm getting better. And I think that it is going to be exciting for me to start getting, for, for this to force me to get even better than I am. And for me to hone my abilities and have the stamina gauge to uh, aid exploration and also some charge attacks. So we're going to go for double stamina. It also, we're also next to Hebra, and regardless of whether or not I'm going to be exploring Hebra, climbing, flying, uh, they're all very, very important. And I think speeding up this Let's Play by being able to run longer is is key, is crucial. It, it's going to make my recording sessions shorter, even though I'm dying at times. So, that's my reasoning on that. We're going to go a little bit longer without getting health. We'll see how long. Let's sing! Ah. You got here just in time, mister. Oh. We're about to practice our song. Oh. It's called the Song of the Stormwind Ark. We're all going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Oh. Are you going to listen to our song, mister? Yeah, let's hear it. Ah. Yay, we love an audience, so we'll give it, give it our best for you. Everyone ready? A one and a two and... That's a really weird tune. Once a god fell from heaven, stilling the Heber winds. The heavens grew lifeless, just as the air below thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledged to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring, built as a pas passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its wind brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. You know, this song is about the Ark that saved Rito Village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Oh. Hey, that's Stormwind Ark. Is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. Oh. It definitely is. Papa told me it's always watching over us high in the sky. Oh. We could sure use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Oh. Well, if I don't, if we don't have the Ark, and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care of the village. Practice is over for today. Genli, you're in charge of food. And Molly, we need you to make arrows. Yeah. We've all got jobs to do, so let's do them. Hey! Yeah! Hi. Kid power! What is going on here? It's true. From the, the little fly rounds I've done of this area as I, you know, entered it last episode, I didn't really see much life. Uh, I'll be right with you. One, one sec. Hi. So the adults have mysteriously gone missing. That's, I'll admit, that's like the last thing I expected. We have some oil, butter, and cane sugar in case I want to make some delicious confections and arrows. How many arrows do I have? Oh, I'm- I'm set. I'm set. Sorry to scare you. I- I know I have a, a missile on the end of my sword, but believe me, I am harmless. Kind of. I, I'm more harm to myself than anybody. Ooh, armor. Huh. Huh. The snow cool trousers, I could really- I, I couldn't care less about, uh, because we have the- the snow boots. But the snow cool tunic and- I also don't really care about that. I actually don't remember what the set bonus was. Hi! Yeah. Hi, hi. Thanks for coming in, even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, and it's even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Luckily for you, we sell warm clothes. Yeah. What brings you to the shop? Uh, nothing at... Oh, whoa. Okay, caves are warm. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And these are kind of expensive. 
But you know, you know what they say. When in Rome, lined with molted Rito fe feathers, this tunic was made by Rito artisans for Hylians visiting cold climates. The feathers are stacked in each layer to retain body heat. <laughs> Thanks a whole bunch for buying from us. Nice. Uh, again, it's not entire, entirely important, but if I'm going for 100%, I have to buy them. There's just nothing for it. And it allows us to dress the part. I always thought that this gear looked so comfy. I mean, it's downy, literally downy and, and cushy and soft. You just kind of want to cuddle up with it. I, I wish Nintendo released like sweatpants that looked like this. That'd be sweet. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, where is that child that ran away from me? I need to find the child that that is fleeing for her life. Not from me. Definitely not from me. What is this? Can I break it? I'll break it with my totally usable 19 power weapon that has a shield attached. Just sweet, but it really doesn't deal that much damage. Uh, where did she go? Here, child. There you are. Can I have these? I'm taking them. <laughs> ah, those are mine, mister. Hold on. Is your problem that you don't have enough wooden arrows? I have basically none. <laughs> I could always use more. <clears throat> That's okay, then. I don't mind giving them to you, but hear me out first. Oh. My papa told me that you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid, wow. which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. Mwahahaha. <laughs> My problem is I can't go out and pick fruit right now with the blizzard and all. Uh, it's just not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long. But without ice fruit, I can't make it. Molly the Fletcher's Quest. Huh? Huh? Mister, I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. Huh? huh? Mister, what's that you got? That's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Wow, it looks like you've got some cold jelly-like stuff. Is that white choo-choo jelly from one of the monsters that'll freeze you solid if you touch it? Oh. Wow, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I could use that to make my big invention. Can I have either the ice fruit or the white choo-choo jelly, please? Yeah, take the, take the choo jelly. I want to make uh, the cold attack plus food, and I, I need, the, I need the, uh, the fruit to do that. Now I can finally make it. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from very far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen to other materials. You can make arrows with all sorts of effects. Oh. It's a shame that my invention is completely useless on all of the enemies here because they have ice resistance. That's just horrible. I should have chosen something that sets them on fire. Then they'd instantly die. With every breath, I spew out brill brilliance. Oh. But I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here you go. Thank you for the 10 arrows. I will shoot them. You know the reason I like make, making arrows? It's my papa. He makes the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that would go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard getting my name out there, and one day I'll be a world-famous arrow maker, one that my papa can be proud of. Nice. We did it. Oh, there, there are some adults. Oh, it's Taba. I did not remember his name until I saw him. That's not fair at all! You know I can handle it! Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard! I could even do it alone! <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village... Huh? Huh? Is that you? Yes, it is I. Nice bow, by the way. It is you! Blink! I barely remember you. But, I don't know. Hi. <laughs> Blink. They told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Teba. New Rito Village Elder. Oh, is the old one dead? That's... I'm sorry? <laughs> It's very nice to see you again. Huh. You remember my son, Tulin. He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. <laughs> as long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. What, you think I can't? 
I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You can keep you can all keep wasting your time treating the song of the Stormwind Arc like it's real, but not me. Listen, you Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to help him go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing the word no. Uh. Yeah, it's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. It's a song for children, mind you. Few, parent, few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you'll get reports of, among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. I'm getting strong Okami vibes from this, this Stormwind Arc. Even if the song of the Stormwind Arc is just a, t a children's rhyme, I suspect that there's something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. Tulin. He thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Huh. But those are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? To help the Rito to continue. <laughs> what? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange, ph strange phenomena around the world are related somehow, hmm. Hmm. we Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. I wish there was something I could do. Hmm. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so he might have already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? Okay, this is weird. Give me a second. Hmm. <laughs> I'm having so much trouble reading this dialogue. Uh, since last recording, I actually got like a uh, Invisalign or Spark. Uh, that so I basically have a retainer on the bottom of uh, uh, on my bottom teeth. And <laughs> give me a second. All right, that's better. Let's see if I can. <laughs> I can stop tripping over my own tongue. He's in the lodge over there. If you'd like to try visiting him. And that was the last line they had to say. No. <laughs> Managing food reserves and supplies, granting audiences and such. This village elder gig isn't just isn't sitting right with me. Life was so much easier when I ha all I had to do was hunt. Just me and my bow. Hmm. But you didn't come to hear me complain. What can I help you with? Talk to me about the Stormwind Arc. Huh. That's the name of a ship that features an, an old Rito children's song. As the song goes, long ago when disaster threatened our village, a god sent us a great flying ship. The blessed winds created by the ship put everything right. Doesn't sound like something that really happened, huh? But this never-ending blizzard counts as a disaster to me. I'd take anything if it would save us from this. Even a children's story. I guess the truth is somewhere up there past that ominous cloud. If there's anything I can answer for you, just ask. Have you seen Zelda? I haven't heard anything myself. Have you asked Hearth? You know, the person I just asked you to go talk to? He's just over there. You know, the... Right, right there. He has good sources. If anyone has a lead on Princess Zelda, it would be him. You can find Hearth in the Lodge to the north. If you get lost, use the pair of bonfires they keep burning as a landmark. Alright then. If you decide to visit Hearth, take care of yourself. The closer you get to that cloud, the colder it'll get. You'll need to take extra precautions against the blizzard. I keep forgetting to do, it, to do this. Teba, a new Rito elder. A Rito warrior who once helped Link save Rito Village. He took up the mantle of Village Elder from Kaneli to become the new leader of his people. As the new elder, he is under pressure to deal with the strange weather assailing Rito Village. Tulin. The son of the Rito elder Ta Teba. When Link first visited his village, Tulin was still a child growing up in his father's shadow, and his eyes would light up when he watched Link and Taba practice the flight range. Yeah, we can deal with that later. Is there any information on the wife? Or is she just not important? 
All right. <laughs> Behind every man is a nameless woman not deserving of lore at all. <laughs> That's the lesson I learned from this game. Thanks, <laughs> Nintendo. I'd love to know. Okay, you know what? If I'm going to say I don't know anything about her, I, I should at least talk to her. Uh. All of the other adults have left the village to investigate the blizzard or to procure, procure a supply of food. I believe my husband and I are the only ones still here. That's sad, Link. The children have taken up the adults' responsibilities while they are away. They have divided up the work between cooking and running the shop, each with, uh, with each of them doing their share. To see the children working so hard gives me hopes that we will weather this crisis as we have before. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. Oh. With, all, with the children and adults all working as one, I believe there is no hardship we can't overcome. Our harmony is our strength. Is that it? Okay, that, that's it. I, I always need to remember, uh, some games give you that little indication that somebody has more dialogue, but Tears of the Kingdom is not one of those games. Also, this is just a mundane place now, apparently. This was the village elder's room, but it doesn't really appear to be much of anything anymore. Is he dead? He's probably not dead. He's probably like managing a mini game or something. Okay, where am I going? What am I doing? Fires? Fires. Yeah, they even have a convenient diving board over here. 